How many water suppliers that you spoke to actually filter out pharmaceuticals? Virtually no water supplier we talk to will claim or can claim to entirely filter out pharmaceuticals because the treatment systems aren't designed to filter out pharmaceuticals. In Philadelphia, for example, scientists detected 63 different pharmaceuticals in the untreated watershed and 56 in the drinking water. Just a handful had been eliminated by filtration. The EPA doesn't yet even require water providers to test for them. Prescriptions have risen by 13 percent in the past five years to 3.8 billion a year, and Americans buy nearly as many non-prescription drugs. It all gets flushed through our bodies and into the water supply. We are a medicalized society, and I think it's important for people to recognize the kind of public health implications of this kind of medicalization. The concentration of drugs Americans are drinking is very low, like one part per billion. If you took a, uh, a sugar cube and dissolved it in an Olympic-sized swimming pool, that would be just about a part per billion. For many chemicals, it may not be something to be concerned about. For some chemicals, they're actually designed to be active at very low concentrations like that. At the Stroud Water Research Center in Pennsylvania, they've examined links between waterborne drugs and the feminization of male fish. Essentially... The aquatic organisms are being bathed in these compounds. So what does it mean when a human drinks water that is contaminated with these same mixtures for uh, decades? It's really unknown.